Hello, so welcome to my video. Uh, please do uh, subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, and what I'm working on are these three paintings and I just thought I would share today a little bit of the process that I go through. So I have three works. They're all different but similar. They're all related to the panoramic views at this wonderful time of year, late summer, early autumn. And they are about different aspects. Now they're all looking a little bit too similar and what I wanted to share with you today is when I've got them to this sort of stage, which is kind of the middle stage, I have to review and see where they're all going and start to identify issues with them and what needs to change. Now at this stage the trick is and the trickiness as well is that you're starting to get more thinky because you need to work out what's working and what isn't working. Yet when you get to paint, you need to keep that loose and free and expressive and playful. And that's always the juggle. So I just thought I would share with you, before I develop them further, the notes that I've made for myself. So this first one, um, I'm not happy with the, some of the big blocks that have nothing other than big shapes. Uh, within them. So this top area here uh, is all just one thing really. So I've put break up larger blocks into irregular shapes. Now how much of I that I do of that remains to be seen but that's just something I've noticed. The second one increase textures in lighter areas. So for me I want this to all be maybe less um, sort of uh, contrasty in some respects but I want to up the textural contrast. Uh, so that will be revealed once I get going and hopefully I'll be able to do some loose flicking and um, dripping and some of that sort of stuff to get the texture in. But to, to lessen the, the value changes and the messiness of it as well, if that makes any sense. That is a little bit kind of complicated, but we'll see how that goes. There's something in me that wants to strengthen the composition, but I'm not sure how that's going to work out yet. And I'm also wondering about collage, whether I need more. I don't think I do. I haven't got any more of this uh, green, so I can't put it, reflect it over there. But I don't necessarily need to because I've reflected some of the purple. So those are my notes anyway on that one. So this one, um, I think it needs a big change. I think it's got two samey samey all the way across. I've got bits going up, bits going down. Busyness, bleh. I kind of think it needs something dramatic. I might need to just alter the composition a little bit and have a big swathe of a lighter area rather than all the way along you see this stuff going on. And although I like individual pieces, I don't think it hangs together well to create enough tension in the composition. And I think I want to simplify areas, so that kind of fits with that as well. So I end up with areas that... Um, are all you know quite a lot lighter so extend the quiet conversation i've put so in the areas um where there are light air, lighter elements then make sure that there's a variety within that as well as it being lighter and then also i think i've got too many blocks that are samey in size i think i don't need to vary the contract vary the size of elements and i also think that I've got into a bit of a samey colour scheme and maybe there needs to be some sort of small jewels of colour in much the same way that I've got these lovely jewels of pink and orange flashes in this one. It's whether I need to kind of transfer that to that one. And then finally, as I'm going through my little review, I've got here, um, well, obviously I need to integrate the collage because I've just plonked the collage onto it and it needs integrating. So that's the first thing. And again, I need greater variety of sizes within areas of the darker blocks. And I think there might, and I also want to, there's a lot of muted colour. I want to have some little sparkly brights uh, within that. And then I think in addition to maybe simplifying it and flattening it, I want to add drama. So those are the sort of notes I've made to start with. And we'll see how I get on, but I just thought I'd share that process with you. Okay, so I've got my first one that I'm going to work on. 
and I've put these statements up um, because they can help. So this is really useful, actually. So courage is a really big thing. Um, you've got to have courage. You've got to have courage to change things. You've got to have courage to take things away. You've got to have courage to do different things. Um, so that's one big deal for me today. Um, if in doubt, more. More marks, more different marks. Move forward, never back. So there's a t tendency sometimes to sort of scuff back to where you feel safe and, and I need to push forward with these. And then the final thing, listen to what the painting is telling me. This was became a big deal when I was developing a uh, body of work last year. And this is really key. I need to go with what, work with the painting. Uh, this idea that the painting is your friend and that you collaborate with your painting to develop the work. So that's a key thing. And I'm saying my just putting a, a, a reminder at the bottom, set timer, because I don't want to get overly fiddly with these. I don't want to overthink. It's so easy to overthink. So that's the thing, really. So I thought I'd just share those things with you. And I'm going to get going um, on this first one. And I've got my list to the side of me of what I need to kind of pay attention to. But I'm going to try and be a little bit kind of loose with it. So I've I've leaf through a lot of my studies that I've been developing recently and these ones are all talking to me so I've just put them at the top um, so it makes it look a bit busy but they're just um, ways of, of of thinking about stuff actually and um, I'm thinking that this needs a dramatic change this painting or something to really simplify it so these are kind of helping me okay so I will get going Okay, so with this one, I'm actually just trying to simplify and I'm trying to throw the symmetry so that it's no longer symmetrical. So I'm building up on the left hand side so that I get a much more um, tension into the composition. And I also increase the amount of light, light white space. Um, and then I will build texture into it, not necessarily at this stage, but after that. Hello, so just when you thought it was safe and you weren't going to get to see me, here I am. Um, so I thought to finish with, having shared with you some of the approaches I'm taking to develop and continue with these uh, three pa paintings, I just thought I would share with you where they're up to, uh, with a little bit of, of background around what I'm doing to them, as well as the obviously the painting and the keeping it expressive and loose. Because in parallel with that, there are quite a few nuts and bolts things around process that need to be uh, done. And so I'm going to put the camera over the over where they are now and just explain a little bit to you about that so that you can get a feel for it. OK, so here are the three of them. And what I have been doing to them just uh, before sharing this now is I have been using uh, the uh, golden gloss medium and brushing it over the surfaces. So these uh, aren't done, but a couple of them and maybe one of them or two of them actually are very close. And so what I need to do uh, when I'm getting to this stage is I seal in between layers using the gloss medium and the brush that you see there, which is an inch and a half. And uh, I just decant some of the gloss medium into that little tray and uh, I brush it over and then I need to leave them to dry. Gloss medium is just a component of the paint anyway so it's just a but what it does do so what I meant for, with res respect to it's a similar component is it dries very similarly so it's not going to take too long to dry um, but what it does is it seals in so say for example I started working over and had a bad painting day I could easily pull the paint off and get it back to that layered gloss uh, on that surface so it was it saves me from getting into a muddle if i if if i um you know sort of have a a, a bit of an off 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 session um and the other thing that it's really good for is that it, it brings out the richness of the color in the works so I've just literally done all of these three and they need to dry now and uh, they are on a stage and I've tried to follow my own advice on those feedback notes but keeping it loose and I had the timer set on on whilst I was working on them so uh, that's really helped. 
and I'm at the stage now where I'm they still some of them I think one or one of them at least is going to have maybe another uh, sort of relatively large change but the others it's um, keeping with what I've got but working in some of the tweaks that I want to make so just thought I'd share with you this idea of using the gloss medium to seal in uh, because it's collage as well it just makes sure that everything is sort of sealed in uh, it's the, the gloss medium I use is as the name describes it's very shiny so it does give a shiny surface but by the time I varnish these paintings uh, which I do to, to protect them from a UV, UV protect them as well um, then I use a satin varnish and so it 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 dulls off the shine because for these types of paintings I really don't want a sort of shiny painting um, and you can't really see that in the way that I'm sharing with you but I just thought I would uh, explain a little bit about that and I like the gloss because it brings out the colour of the of the, of the uh, of the paint. Okay, so hopefully that's that's useful. The little book that I've got there at the side, just to remind you to mention to you that I have a, a a titled book, and as ideas come to me, I write them in this little book. And uh, I've got some names. If I just can lean through and flick, I've got some things written down actually uh, about these current paintings, and I don't know yet uh, what they're going to be called, but I've started to write. Uh, names uh, of ideas um, as they as they kind of come to me because now these three have separate identities I'm at the stage where I can do that and uh, yeah and, and I eventually I'll kind of just just um, I you know sometimes the, the titles come to me early on sometimes later on oftentimes it's similar to this now that they're sort of at the middle stage or you know sort of further on I start thinking of titles very specifically Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.